You don't accept the conclusions of the report because they say you were unmindful of the rules. Everybody in the department knew that I was emailing from a personal address. Hundreds of people knew it. People around the government knew it. And, uh, you know, that was uh, what uh, the practice had been, and that's uh, what I did as well. And, she, you know, she's talking about the inspector general's report that said Hillary Clinton broke the rules by using that private email server. And that was her response. It's sort of like, well, everybody knew about it, but nobody did anything about it. Does that really make her appear more trustworthy? Well, I think there was a different part of, the, of that answer where she talked about the fact that she regrets this and admits that it was a mistake. And look, the bottom line is this issue has been out there in the public, litigated for well over a year. The facts of this are known. Obviously, there's a Justice Department review that we hope will be concluded soon. But I think at this point, the voters have factored it in. And amidst all the discussion on this issue, um, Hillary Clinton has only managed to lead uh, all other contenders, not just Bernie Sanders, but Donald Trump, too, in terms of the number of raw votes she's earned. She's on her way to becoming the first female nominee of a major party in American history. So I think that the public has said or rendered a judgment that they want to keep the focus on the issues Even that matter most. numbers from Quinnipiac, you feel that way? Look, this is going to be a contrast heading into a general election between her and Donald Trump. I'm not sure, familiar with the details of that one poll that you cited, but I think in general we're seeing that voters are going to decide that Hillary Clinton is the person they can trust to stand in their corner, fight for the issues that they care about. Brian Fallon.